the furry face here. Yeah, it's my second attempt. <laughs> I forgot to set up the camera at first, and I had it on. It's oh fuck! So I had to stop it and start again. Anyway, well, foraging for today it is Tuesday, April twenty eighth, twenty twenty. Yeah. Uh, Found some butts, got lucky today, and another guy talking one and gave me a smoke and half a pack of zigzag rolling papers because I couldn't buy them anywhere. I can't collect bottles and turn them in, so I was like, fuck. And the old lady wasn't there to give me five bucks. She does once in a while, but last time she wanted to give me her cans, which are useless. Some people still don't know we can't cash them in, you know? Anyway. Found some roaches, too. Smoking the tail end of a joint now. Ugh. Found a few, but you need, need a lot to make a joint because somebody smoked them all to the filters. There was only a few with some actually in it, so I gotta use the toothpick and push it through the filter part to drop whatever's in it on the tray, hopefully. Make a small pile. I had a bit of tobacco from the butts I found. Ugh. This is a two tier uh, video. The other part I wanted to talk about was this COVID 19 uh, coronavirus thingy. It's fucking up everybody's life, you know. And there's a dilemma going on where it's not right to really start working yet. We have to let the curve drop a little more and see it going steadily down before we can decide such things. So they're doing it prematurely or kind of early. But I can't blame them in a way. There's, there's people that have no income for fuck's sake. What are they supposed to do, you know? Because I'll tell you, if I had the kids or... Uh, a furry little buddy, I'd be doing what I can to take care of me and get him, you know, or her, whatever. Fuck. So that's the dilemma. So what are you going to do, you know? You have to live. So shit, whether there's a virus out there or not, you're eager to start work just to make some money again. Because you can't live without money. This is the world we made, you know? Too bad we made such a world, but we did. Ugh. And then there's other stuff, people thinking, oh, it's, it's, it's man-made, the rich set it off, the powers that be set it in motion. Oh, bullshit. It doesn't make any sense to think that. You think the powers that be would ruin the economy so that would fuck up their paychecks? Yeah, I don't think so, okay? So it's not the powers that be in charge of this. It's not the government, because the government suffers when, you know, People aren't working, but what do they do about taxes in that time period, you know? And what, they're offering billions of dollars in aid to help businesses? Yeah, it's a loss for the government, all right? So they wouldn't implement this. Any Anything that causes mankind to lose money is not voluntarily made or done, okay? So understand that. Ugh. That's why certain inventions were curved as well, because it hurt the powers that be. It's going to rock their boat too much. They're going to lose, what, if you run a vehicle that can run on water, is it they're going to do good at selling oil and petroleum products? Think again. It'll ruin them, for Christ's sake. That's why they won't let shit fly. Uh, that's why that guy tells I had all his shit fucking ruined, because he didn't want him succeeding. Free energy for anybody? They can't have that, you know? Assholes. But yeah, while we're on the subject, eh, aliens aren't going to give us their technology, okay? There's a thing called the, the world timeline that we have for our world, is they have a different timeline for their world. You cannot intersect uh, timelines that are too far apart from one another, like tens of thousands of years. Boo-boo, big mistake. You can't do that, all right? Because we're idiots, if you really want to know why we can't do that, okay? We're, we're not that as bad yet. Uh, anyway, back to this virus thingy. Fuck. So that's the dilemma. If you work, you can earn money, you can live. If you're not getting any income, you're pretty well fucked. Although the best move would be to hold out a little longer if we can. Another month or two. Fuck. You know, it's a bit early to open businesses right now in my opinion, but I'm also getting a paycheck from the government, huh? you know, so fuck, yeah, I can talk, you know, so I understand <sighs> when people are saying it's just a hoax, it's no hoax, okay, if the powers that be aren't behind it, the government's not behind it, it's not a freaking hoax, so understand that, this is a real deal, and it's hurting everybody, 
even people that do get somebody to live, you can only live so much, you know. You can't go out or anywhere leisurely. Who does that anyway? I don't do that. If I go out, it's a freaking mission. I'm looking for cigarette butts, roaches, anything I can find to use that I can use, you know. Because my life is poor. Uh, I haven't even paid for the internet yet. Because they haven't sent me a freaking bill. They sent me some email. I can't do nothing with that. Send me a paper bill. I, keep, I told them twice already on return things that they said, where's your payment, you know? So I said, well, send me a paper bill so I can pay you. Without that, I cannot pay you. You know, they don't get it. So they're still sending me bills in the mail. Well, I got one a while back. I forgot what it was. No, I don't, th no, I don't think I got a bell bill yet. That was the other one I had to run away from. They did the same thing. Fuck. You know, not billing you until maybe like four months down the road they send you a paper bill and it's like four or five hundred bucks. So ridiculous. I can't pay that. So I let it ride till five, six hundred and then I cancel the service or I just go get another provider and let them keep sending me bills. You know, this is Canada. They can't just, well, you know, hopefully they don't throw me in jail. <laughs> but uh, I'm not really doing it on purpose. If they send me a bill, it's fucking paying. But they're not. They're waiting too long and it brings my bill up too high where I can't afford to pay it. So you idiots. So it's society we live in. They think you're more valuable if you owe money. It's like, fuck. You know? Irritating. Anyway. People are watching the distancing thing pretty good. I wonder what's all in the Montreal, but you know. Yeah, the six foot thingy. Get on the bus and look, we'll see where everyone's sitting so you can set a distance away, which we're able to do because the, there's only like three or four people on the buses now. Fuck you. Know, I've seen them go by almost empty, just the bus driver in it. And we have to get in by the back door and out by the back door so you don't make contact near the driver, which is why we don't pay for the ride now. So the buses are free. How long is this going to keep up? My estimation is a few months. I don't think they're going to start letting everybody walk by the fucking uh, the driver, you know. How's it going, buddy? You know, yeah, thanks for the virus. You know, so uh, it's a bit chancy on that. Ugh. This video is running a bit long, yeah. Don't know what else to bring up. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a few enemies. The guy that's stealing my butts now, found out about him, and he visits the old man because he lives in that same freaking building, so he takes him out of his ashtrays before the old man even throws him out so I don't see him anymore. Pisses me off. I'd like to punch him in the face, but I can't do that. <laughs> I'm 62 years old and I'll likely break my hand or something, punching something now. Last guy I punched in the eye. It was a stupid thing too. He had the money, but he didn't want to buy rolling papers. He had a bag of tobacco. Hell, I wanted a cigarette. So I told him, I'll walk to the store, which is like a mile away. Just give me the dollar fifty, whatever it cost at the time. But he didn't want to do that. That pissed me off. Don't fuck with me, my rent, my food, my weed, my smoking. You know, these are like main elements uh, I live on, you know. You're fucking me up. You're out of here, you know. I kicked the guy out, and you're supposed to pay me 400 bucks the next day. Obviously, I wasn't thinking, but I was too upset. Reasoning does not take hold when you're pissed off. Understand that. He has a little reasoning there, too. A little bit more wisdom, yeah. Like I can use it when I'm pissed. Good luck getting wisdom, then. Anyway, it happens. I punched him in the eye, but my hand inflated. Fuck. I was sore for like a few days before it shrunk back down again. I can't go around punching anybody, and it's the only, it's not a hard part of the body. It's like, fuck, I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> so I have to fight mentally and verbally on YouTube videos. <laughs> How am I doing? Yeah. Would you fight with me? Fuck off. Put that shield and sword away, young man, yeah. I'll fight you. <laughs> oh, it's my little buddy. Oh. Oh, fuck off. My God. Sit up. Sit over there. Behave. Don't start. Ugh. I'm buzzed. Obviously, I had a joint. Anyway, don't know what else to talk about now. Ugh. Oh, I saw a guy with uh, one of those visors. They look more comfortable than wearing a freaking mask, I can tell you. So, fuck. I don't know where he got that. I almost asked him today, but I decided not to bother. 
I was just checking ashtrays and there was nothing. Luckily I found uh, my big load of butts uh, in a dumpster across from my GA. That's why I go all the way fuck down there. But I cut the bus to Commercial Street because I didn't bother checking the building three quarters of a mile up the street. Forget it. So a mile and a half away is my first other two spots, which I checked and found nothing. Yeah. Fuck. But further up across my GA, voila, cigarette butts, yes. So I took a nice good bag full and then I found another one. A few in there, so I put that into the other one. After I took it all a crab, which is why I wear gloves just in case, but... Uh, Anyway, yeah, Free Face signing off. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. But it's the right paw. Yeah. All right. Don't know why I include him. No idea. Like he's my little buddy and he's real. <laughs> anyway, pa pa. See you later. Doo -doo -doo.